Alright, so today we're doing a demo of an induction brazier that we're going to use to abrade Schrader ports to a 1 and 8 inch copper line. Um, the, bra the material we'll be using, we have a braze ring to one and a half turn seal foss ring. Uh, we'll be applying flux to that uh, to basically braze up a Schrader port um, to the tube that we have selected here for. It. Now a little bit of a walkthrough of what our fixture is and an ex explanation of the induction brazier. They basically have an induction coil here that will apply a magnetic field to this coil. And uh, so we're going to be heating up this particular tube here. Uh, we've got this fixture is done by our Opex Moonshine Group that will raise the tube into place. We're delivering nitrogen through here. We'll pull this plug up to secure our Schrader port and then we'll run a cycle. So we'll go ahead and put our tube back in place. We'll apply our flux to the ring as per our standard work, which is our normal process that we have on the line uh, today. There is also an option of looking at going to a, a flux core ring or possibly having this already applied to the port. So now we're going to put our tube in place, kind of adjust our centering and alignment. Pull up our plug, make sure that we have the alignment we're looking for. Double check that. Uh, this fixture was developed by our Moonshine Group with about a day and a half of development time. So this is revision one of our fixture, but it is working really good. So now we've got braze ring in place, shredder port in place, uh, flux supplied and positioning. Now we're gonna basically run this through a cycle and I'll talk you through what we're doing with the, with the actual cycle. So you kind of start your timer now, and you'll see the water boil off the flux first as we're going through our heat cycle. And then the next thing you'll see is a Schrader port changing from a brass color to more of a silvery color. And, um, and then you see that turning now. You can also see the heat line kind of going to our copper tube. Now our flux is actually being activated. And then the next phase of any braze process is the alloy is about to start to flow. And it has flowed and we're gonna stop it right there. And that is a typical cycle of an induction braze process. So let's take a, remove our tube. And we can get a look at what our braze joint looks like. And you can see we got a full alloy penetration around both sides in a controlled process. And also uh, the tube is also very clean inside with our nitrogen that we applied there. And that's our induction brazier demonstration.